Hello, Trappist One Planets. Welcome to our newest competition. Do we really have to do or attend these every time? Yes, we do, Trappist One D. Now suck it up. I'm with Trappist One D. <clears throat> what I mean is, we gotta celebrate what makes each of the planets on my fleet special. Our solar system's quite unique, after all. Well, us Goldilocks planets don't need a reminder. Don't say it, Trappist E. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, this time the Trappist Trophy will be rewarded to the most Earth like planet on my fleet. Now there's a surprise. Hey, uh, Trappist 1A. What's up, Trappist 1G? I hate to break up the facts here, but at least four of us are in the Goldilocks zone. Wouldn't it be a pretty close call? Well, there must be one of you that just has the right conditions to potentially be Earth 2.0, and I'd say our good friend Trappist-1E will explain away. With pleasure. Now let's cover the obvious first. Now, oh boy, we here we go. are a very unique system, as there are seven of us, roughly Earth-sized he ever terrestrial up? planets orbiting an ultra-cool red dwarf. Which does make us all tidally locked. However, Man, and despite red dwarfs being the most common type of star, even Trappist 1A over here is quite unique as he flares a lot less than his other M type cousins, allowing us, Trappist 1 planets, to retain our atmospheres a lot more effectively than other exoplanets. Just stop talking and get to the point. Very well. Now, we want to know which one of us is the most Earth-like. Let's go down on the list. Now you, Trappist-1B, are far too hot, far too close to the sun, and far too Venus-like to support any forms of life, so you are out of the question. And pretty much same goes for you, Trappist-1C, my lady. Although you're not as bad, your thick water vapor atmosphere combined with the pressure on your surface is not the ideal place. Ouch! Now as for you outer planets, you are mostly a steam world with your water in gaseous form. Not the most settling place if you ask me, Trappist 1G. G, thanks. And last but not least, actually, last but least, we got Trappist-1H, or should I say Trappist-1P, standing for Trappist- Trappist-1Pluto, I get it. What about me and Trappist-D? Yeah, besides, we're your neighbors, after all. Right, you could be fair candidates, but compared to me, you, Trappist-1F, are a bit too chilly, and you, Trappist-D, are a bit too restricted in space due to your small size and that narrow band of twilight you have. As for me, Trappist-1E, I am similar to the Earth in mass, size, gravity, and composition. I even have a compact atmosphere able to distribute heat around my surface, giving me a pretty stable temperature, which makes me one of the, if not the best, candidates for habitability that's relatively close. Well, in that case, the winner of the Trappist-1 trophy is Trappist-1E. Of course I won. As I thought, I never win at these. You win at looking the most tidally locked, you little pipsqueak. We're all tidally locked, no? You just shut up. You see, Trappist-1B, you have to be the right conditions to be the most Earth-like in order to be the Trappist-1 trophy champion. You just don't know when to quit, do ya? Guys, can we just enjoy the time we spend together? What do you mean, enjoy the time we have together? We're together all the time in this cramped place. I mean, I'm trapped basically between a bully and a nerd. And even the furthest out planet, Trappist-1H, orbits nearly six times closer than Mercury does to the sun. Look, I know what you mean. I just wish I could get a bit of fresh air from this system. 
I'd say, Trappist D, I couldn't help but to overhear what you said. You know, I'm looking at paying a visit to the solar system myself. I'm sure the Earth will be delighted to meet me. We might even be cousins. And who knows, maybe Astro Dude will want to colonize us. Okay, how do you know all this stuff, Trappist E? Oh, well, I always do research during my six-day orbit around the sun. My point is, though, would you like to tag along, Trappist D? The solar system's about 40 light years away from us. That may seem like a lot, but in reality, we're basically cosmic neighbors to them. You know what? Sure, why not? Okay, great. Now we gotta figure out how to get the gravity boost out of here. What have I gotten myself into? Anywho, if you're curious to learn more about us and our system, I highly encourage you to check out some of these videos. Link in the description. And while you're at it, subscribe to Solar Balls, if you haven't already. Alright, bye.